Hello children, I'm so happy to be able to read out to you all once again. I'm very excited to share my story with you and I hope you are excited to listen to it too. The story that I'm going to read out today for all of you is Augustus and His Smile by Catherine Rayner. But before I start my story, there is something I want to share with you about Augustus. Augustus is a Siberian tiger. Siberian tigers are the biggest cats in the world. They live in southern Russia and northern China where winters are very very cold. Most tigers are orange with black stripes. The stripes make them hard to see when they are walking in the tall grasses and the weeds in the forest. Tigers are good swimmers too and they like to cool down by sitting in the water holes. Do you know what are water holes? Yes, that's the place where animals go to drink their water. Every tiger has a different pattern of stripes just like our human fingerprints. That's how you can identify one tiger from the other. Isn't that interesting? Some fascinating information over here. Now, let's start with our story. Augustus and his smile. Augustus, the tiger, was sad. He had lost his smile. So he did a huge tigery stretch and set off to find it. First he crept under the cluster of bushes. He found a small shiny beetle but he could not see his smile. Then he climbed to the top of the tallest trees. He found birds that chirped and called. But he couldn't find his smile. Further and further Augustus searched. He scaled the crest of the highest mountains where the snow clouds swirled making frost patterns in the freezing air. Ooh. He swam to the bottom of the deepest oceans and splashed and splashed with shoals of tiny shiny fish. But did he find his smile? I wonder where he could have lost it. He pranced and paraded through the largest desert, making shadow shapes in the sun. Augustus padded further and further through shifting sand until bitter, batter, bitter, batter, drip, drop. Augustus danced and raced as raindrops bounced and flew. He splashed through the puddles, bigger and deeper. He raced towards a huge silver blue puddle and saw. There, under his nose, was his smile. And Augustus realized that his smile would be there whenever he was happy. He only had to swim with the fish or dance in the puddles or climb the mountains and look at the world 
for happiness is everywhere around him. Augustus was so pleased that he hopped and skipped. and jumped away, smiling. The end. Wasn't that a wonderful story? It definitely made me smile. I hope you liked it too, and it made you happy. Think about all the things that make you smile, make you happy. Well, I am going to leave you with that thought until next week. Don't forget to tap on that like button so I know you have enjoyed the story. Until then, bye-bye.